welcome to the University of Queensland, or UQ for short, that's located in Brisbane, Australia. UQ is set on beautiful grounds with a number of coffee shops and places to relax for when you're not studying. In addition, we have world-class sporting facilities as well as over 200 clubs and societies for you to participate in. Not only will you learn from passionate teachers, but you'll also learn from some of the world-class researchers. You're in good company here at UQ with a global network of close to 250,000 graduates from over 170 countries. We rank consistently in the world's top 50 universities and we deliver an unparalleled teaching, learning and research experience. In agricultural science, we are ranked fifth in the world and first in Australia. And the UQ scientists of today are solving the food challenges of tomorrow. Hi, my name is Sangeeta. I'm a lecturer in food technology at UQ. I did my PhD here in food science and technology and worked in the industry for a couple of years, uh, do developing new products. I'm back here in the University of Queensland teaching at the beautiful campus of St. Lucia. The world is facing many challenges to feed our population, which is predicted to exceed 9 billion by 2050. Climate changes such as rising atmospheric temperatures, elevated carbon dioxide levels and precipitation changes can greatly affect agricultural production of food. Up to 1.3 billion tonnes of food are wasted each year, from post-harvest losses to manufacturing and retail spoilage. Scientists are working to address these food security challenges by finding innovative solutions that start at the farm and move through the supply chain to the table. Advancements in agricultural and food science can transform food to create desired nutritional properties and palatability, improve functional properties, extend shelf life. Through plant biotechnology, scientists can increase the yield or nutritional value of crops and improve food security with plants that are resistant to insects and environmental stresses. An exciting plant science innovation was the development of golden rice enriched with beta-carotene, which can help prevent blindness amongst malnourished children around the world. Microwave vacuum drying is a way to rapidly dry food using less energy and with less degradation of the nutrients. Fresh fruit and vegetables can be preserved with this method to allow for long-term storage or easy transport. 3D food printing is a novel food development which will be fundamental to the way people interact with food in the future. Scientists are investigating which foods can be printed, how to retain nutritional value and what new formulations can be used to produce palatable new foods in unique shapes and textures. 3D foods are printed by placing liquidised food into a funnel which is then deposited in layers. The liquid can be produced from low-value products such as discarded parts of fruits and vegetables such as the skin, pips or stems to reduce wastage. From a food innovation perspective, multi-component products can be developed to fight world hunger and nutrient imbalance. Science will help feed our growing populations. You've just heard from our UQ expert and you now know what the scientists at UQ are doing to ensure a food secure future. Now it's your turn to get involved and here's your task. We want to hear your solution to address the challenge of feeding the world in a world of limited resources. You and your friends will need to put together a short video that is original, creative and resourceful. All you need to do is follow these steps. Step one, choose a scientific concept that will address our topic. You can pick any part of the food supply chain from farm to fork, and this may include agricultural or plant science techniques that will improve crop yield, keep food safer, transport food better, make food fresher, or even the recycling and reuse of organic waste for agricultural use. Step two, we want you to use what you've learned at school to research the concept further. Step three, use what you've learned from this concept to now develop an innovative idea or approach that will address the challenge of feeding our world in the future. 
And finally, step four, identify some of the challenges you might face when implementing your innovative solution. Your video will need to be no longer than three minutes long, and your innovative solution can cover a local or a global issue. Remember to include any background information you've uncovered from your research, and if you've used copyrighted material, that your video is accompanied with the proper permissions. We look forward to receiving your plans for feeding the future. We're looking forward to seeing your entry. And we'll see you here at UQ in May next year.